Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, uh, I've got a film review. It's a film that came out in 2013, uh, a film that I've never seen before. However, I bought it just as, you know, background noise, eat your dinner, watch a film, you know, that sort of stuff. Uh, the film in question was The Purge. Now, when it first came out, The Purge, um, I knew all about it. It was all, oh, you know, crime for one night, anything, whatever, get on with it, kill someone if you want, no repercussions. Uh, the Purge, I thought I'd give it a go. I thought I'd watch it. It was only a fiver. Um, my opinion of it when it came out was that it was a bad film. It was a film that didn't need to be made. Um, that opinion still sticks today. Ethan Hawke is the only guy I recognise. Don't recognise any other characters. Uh, so what it is, he's a big shot of a security um, developer. So security systems for houses, he makes them all. Fair enough. Especially when this Purge shit comes about. Yeah, you, know, you need some good security to protect your family. So this neighbourhood just happens to have all his security built in. Um, his family, Ethan Hawke's family, him and his family are getting rich off their neighbours for the security. So then one night, uh, all the shutters go down, the TV uh, declares the purge. There's a uh, couple of gunshots and this black man is running down the street and the young lad, Ethan Hawke's son, sees him. Obviously he's... Oh, mummy, daddy, what's this going on? You know, what's this all about? While they're out of the room, the kid opens the door. He opens the front door and lets this guy in. This is where the shit hits the fan. First off, don't open your door to strangers, you stupid kid. Then the people who were trying to kill him, saying that he was a hobo and he was a naughty man for whatever crime he's committed, he's come off the street. You don't know who he is. He could be a killer himself. So all this gang are coming on, banging on the door, saying, let him out or we'll... Uh, or we're coming and kill you. Fair enough, they're only trying to purge and all this. And this man's got in the way and he's got into their house because a stupid kid's let him in. So this, this bloke, don't know who he is, he's walking around their house because it's pitch black, they've turned out all the lights. So he's walking around the house, they can't find him. How big is your house for you not be able to find one person? But it's a stupid kid's fault who let him in. But then it, it's a film that didn't need to be made. The purge was not needed to be created. Do whatever you want for 24 hours, no repercussions. But then you can kill whoever you want. And there could be dead bodies on the street as soon as you walk out. As soon as 24 hours are done, that's it. You can't kill another person for a whole year. But it doesn't mean that you're not going to see your neighbour with his brains bashed in on his doorstep as you go to work. It's a bad film. I don't recommend it. It wasn't needed to be made. All the actors in it are really bad. Ethan Hawke gets stabbed by his neighbour who are pissed for them getting rich off their money for buying his security system. It was just one of them films where you were shouting at the telly saying, what the fuck are you doing? Don't let him in. Don't do this. Don't do that. How big's your house? What the fuck's going on? It's one, I've watched it once and in all honesty, I don't think I'd watch it again simply because I didn't like it. It wasn't entertaining. It was a film that was just... Who the bloody hell thought of it up and thought this is going to be awesome? I just don't recommend it. It's it's a pointless film. Pointless film of people who are apparently all killers. Everybody just wants to kill. Which isn't the case. It's just... There's no need to be made. And they have even made the sequel. So... And Ethan Hawke, he was the only one I knew. And he got stabbed. 12 hours to kill whoever you want. Yeah probably kill the creator because it's shit but yeah that's it I don't recommend it don't buy it on the iTunes store it's got four stars don't know why all the reviews are saying how great it is they're stuck in a house for crying out loud as well I don't know I just don't rate it it's not a very good film I didn't enjoy it it was just pointless and then once once the 12 hours of purging is done the shutters go up and they just they're like there you go see you later and the guy just walks away the, the, the guy that you originally let in. The guy who's running down the street screaming help me. They just let him walk off. So what happens in, in, in another year's time when they start to purge again? Hello, here's the neighbour. Come round with a shot. Go and blow your brains out. Silly film. Didn't like it. Didn't need to be made. Um, don't recommend it. Ethan Hawke. Only guy I recognise. Yeah, and he was bad in it. <sighs> Yeah, the purge, go kill whoever you want for 12 hours, no repercussions. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching my review of the purge. Bye if you want.
I didn't like it. I thought it was pointless. Silly film. Wasted uh, an hour and 22 minutes of my life. Now I'm never going to get back. Kind of interested to see what the sequel's about. See if it's all the purging the same. But, yeah, don't recommend it. The wife was annoying. She just screamed. The daughter was a cock who ran away. The little lad, he was just a knob. He, l he opened the door to the bloke who he wanted to kill. Fuck that. Find him. Kick him out the front door. See you later. Not my problem. Fuck off. They want to kill you. They don't want to kill me. Fuck you. Out the door. So, yeah. There you go. Purge. Boring. Kill whoever you want. 12 hours repercussions. No. Don't recommend it. Survive the night. Survive the 1 hour 22 to watch it. Also, we the devoted links down below. As per usual, go check them out, guys. Toby WTD gets 20% off. And we the devoted ask me you to say bye. But thank you for watching my review of The Purge. Boring. Don't recommend it. Useless. Yeah.